Overly simplified, programming can generally be divided into two main categories. Things that you can see, things that you can't see. Things that you can see are like a website, like YouTube, or like this video player you're watching me on, the Yahoo Weather app, or the Facebook Messenger app. The parts that you can see and interact with, like buttons and Snapchat filters and other visual pieces, all fa fall under a category called the front end because it's in front of you. It's in the front end of any application. You see it and you can play with it. Wait, that's not cool. But where is that weather information that we see in the Yahoo Weather app actually come from? That's in a program that you can't see. Where your bank account information is stored is hidden from the general public and only you can see it after you put in your username and password. That's the type of programming that's happening in the background and that's why it's called the back end. On the front end, we have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Swift, I guess, Objective-C. On the back end, we have Java, Python, Ruby, C Sharp. These are just some examples. Other types of programming are database layer, which kind of falls on the back end development, quality assurance and testing, which means you can write programs that will test other programs. <laughs> AI, artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, Amazon's Alexa. There are other categories of programming as well, but for the most part, these are what you use in order to build the amazing software that you are familiar with, that you use every day. So we're gonna take a deep dive into front-end programming because it's the most visually satisfying and it's, it's really fun. So here we go, front-end programming.